Put it back on. Uh, yes. Took it a second. Apparently, you have three people watching. I think it's including me or something, because it's oh. endless. Alright, set to ultra low latency. Ultra low latency. What the fuck? Wait a minute. You've just challenged a driver to a head to head. Hey, what I don't think I have all you. Shot. You can destroy the next driver instead. And that last one too, if you ever see them again. Turn around when it's Is there no audio? I don't think so. Alrighty. Welcome back, me. Yes. Should it mute or something? Because it should have audio. tab is playing audio. Yeah, I hear your fans in the background, Michael, and that's it. Looks like you just entered a loading screen if you're looking for a hint on delay. Uh, it's like really a delay then. God damn it. Yep, you just now got into the car. Yeah, that, I just noticed that the mirrors on that Lamborghini there, that's crazy. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. I would wonder about the delay. I, mean, I bet it completely eliminates blind spots there. True. I think you have a new URL. That's possible. Let me just go to your channel, see if I can find it there. Oh, you can send listed. I can send it to you. Oh. Yeah, I got a new URL. That's why I couldn't hear us talking, because I wasn't in there yet. I just suddenly heard myself talking about the quality of the stream. Oh, is it working, though? Uh, the video, the last link that you sent me is, but that's the previous recording. I don't think it's live. Uh, yeah, no, it's not live. I mean, that makes sense. You ended one live stream and started another. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's a new URL. And...
there's like a three second delay. <laughs> I know that because I can hear myself. Quality, but I don't know. If it is, it's not obvious. Hey, look, Brandon's in here. <laughs> oh, the stream? Yeah. Not really. It pulls it names from people's friends lists. you want in on this uh, chicanery. I kind of like racing this, the slightly slower cars. The hyper-fast cars are just a pain in the ass to control. Tabbed out and missed it. When a race starts in this game, it sounds like thunder. What? The four is a game that he's playing right now. How does it sound like thunder? What? How does it sound like thunder? I, I don't know. It's like a low rumbling. I keep hearing it and I'm like, what is it gonna start? Scorched Zebra 69? Is that what that dude's name is? Is the stream better on YouTube Live? Compared to Discord, absolutely. I was only yeah, putting it on YouTube because I can make it uh, unlisted. I can, like, the link. On yeah. I don't think he can do that on Twitch. Can you do private viewings on Twitch? You might be able to. I don't know. I think it might turn into something a little weird if they, I don't think they want that. Yeah, uh, yeah that's fair. This ain't no chatterbait. XXX. I could branch up. Twitch.xxx. Uh, just have a streaming service called Thoughtbox or something. Thoughtbox. I mean, that is a good name, I'm not gonna lie. Not up there with like boob tube or yeah, that's what I was thinking about is boob tube. Watch watch or something. <laughs> boob tube exists. That sounds like something. That yeah, it probably does. Yeah. Let me find out. What are your fires? <laughs> I was about to say, if it if it is, it's not something that pops up on the first page of Google. I gotta type it in the URL. 
Let's go straight uh, to it. Hell no. <laughs> that, that's how you get the internet aids. Oh god. I respect that. You damn ass. Oh man, I just gave up my lead to you right at the end of the race. That's uh, gonna be a fucking yikes for me, dog. Very start from me, dog. <laughs> Say what? So you don't have Forza? No. Pretty fun. Yeah. To drive around in a Miata. Oh, well, it's basically in our, uh, some cops you could run into and get chased by. I bet Brandon wishes he drove a Range Rover. Probably sell it. <laughs> yeah. Buy a gun. God, I do not like this Lego world. I don't know why you instantly spawn in it every time. I don't think you can set. That, like, I don't think you can set to not spawn there. It's got to be some kind of mod you got enabled or something. No, I don't think there's anything you can no, do. I think they just DLC. force you in it. Hmm. Even if you like go to your house in Great Britain, I think you still go end up in the Lego world. Huh. Yeah, because I should spawn in Great Britain because I absolutely hate the Lego world. I think the Lego world's cool, but I don't want to spawn there. Yeah, I mean... I thought the like Lego cool, DLC was cool. Really, but there's fun. more to Great Britain. Yeah. Like, that's the main content area. I didn't even really go to the island. Uh, Fortune Island? Also, you might know the answer to this, but whenever I was playing Forza for a while, there would be lit up areas on the map to search for barn cars, but they don't yeah. show up on my map anymore. Uh, have you found them all? I don't know. Some of them were... had a time limit. But now, oh, now, now there's... Seasonal. Now there's never anything on my map, though. I, I guess I found all the ones that aren't seasonal. I don't know. Yeah, a lot of them you can only find, like, they're in the middle of a lake in the winter so but it's like uh, like whenever i opened up my map before there were like big orange like purple circles or whatever yeah various to search but it does not show up anymore i don't know if you have any on your map uh i have to get a great person to check I'm horror about getting all roads and speed of the word, so. Have you ever tried to play uh, online? Yeah, I used to play a lot online. How was that experience? Uh, pretty good. Me and the group that I played with, we played competitively. Oh, you had a group, so that probably changed things. Yeah. It's my uh, real life car club that we all played together. Uh, I've just read around that it's pretty toxic and there's like meta builds and it's just a bunch of bullshit. Well, you have your, uh, I guess you call it a meta car. But it's. I mean, it's no different than like World of Warcraft or something where you have your best in class. But that's the thing is like, unless you get a player who knows how to use it, it's not really a best in class anymore. The one thing that, I mean, I'm sure a lot of people that play this game would disagree, but I kind of wish you could just erase the stock cars. And yeah. And the, there's classes for each, you know, type of stock car. 
they do have that kind of. I don't do like. I don't like the because you can literally soup up any car to be really fast, and it's kind of unrealistic. Well, I mean, you can soup it up to be fast, but what really gets it is the tune. If you have a really good tune, like my best car that I use in most games is the Miata, believe it or not. Just because of how easy it is to handle. I mean, it gets up to speed, and I mean, it's completely unrealistic in the game. I wish my Miata was half this fast. Going 80 miles per hour in third gear. But yeah, doing the tune is the ultimate factor in whether your car is going to be good. That's like if you soup up a car and you hit the accelerator without changing the gearing, you're just going to spin out. Especially if you're in real, uh, if you have a real wheel drive, so. When I got on early, I was trying to find the Lancer build that I had. I had to find. Trying to order 2,941 items by a date modified. Wish me luck. No, I'm sorting them on my computer. That's what I meant to say. God damn. What? I have a. <laughs> Apparently, I got Romstein's America. Either the first time I downloaded it or the first time someone else modified it. Before I modified it, or before I downloaded it, was January 16th, 2005. And the next oldest group of songs that I have is the Deftones, the self titled album. <laughs> trying to think of what I was in eighth grade I think were we in yeah we were in eighth grade 2005 right or no we would have been going into uh, freshman year what graduating class are y'all 2010 uh, yeah so that would have been like the last half of eighth grade first half of freshman year I was in seventh grade when I was graduating. Oof. That's 2015. <laughs> Thanks for making me feel old. It's <laughs> <laughs> uh, good. I feel young. <laughs> Savor it, my friend. Savor it. Michael, do you use a manual transmission in the car, or do you have an automatic? Yeah, I do both. Just depends on what I'm doing. If you switch to manual, you will see a huge improvement. If I'm just driving around, like when I'm doing races, I do manual all the time. Yeah. But if I'm just driving around, I always do it. I need to change my shifting keys to the buttons. 
keys, keyboard, or? No, I have a keyboard, or I have an Xbox controller. Okay. I need to change my bumpers to shift in there, because I like that better. Right now it's like B or an X. And it's not yeah, that's what I use, too. And then I use my middle finger just to actually accelerate and brake. I keep my middle finger on the trigger. Oh, I, yeah. will, I will beat this race with the stock car. I know how. I, I know I have an old iTunes account. that probably has paid music tied to it. Actually, it probably has a lot. But I have no idea what my credentials were. Leaky fresh at AOL.com. <laughs> I wish it was something that cool. <laughs> no, it was probably under my WT McVeigh AOL account, but... I don't see a place to log in to iTunes without downloading the fucking application. Yeah, I don't think you can. You have to download an application. Because, you know, Apple. Yeah. Fuck it. Get other essential apps for your device. Get. Press X. Press get to download, is that what this is? Open the Microsoft Store? What the fuck is this bullshit? <laughs> it's got two and a half stars <laughs> on the Microsoft wonder, Store. You know what the, the crazy thing is? iTunes actually runs great. Well, I guess it's not crazy. iTunes runs great on Macs. Oh yeah, no, it did. Or it does. But, well, I don't know how it runs now on Windows, but... Back in the day, fucking garbage, dude. <laughs> and, and of course, QuickTime or whatever it was had an update every 30 minutes. Yeah, QuickTime player. Does that even exist anymore? I don't think it does. Yeah, 100%. Fuck QuickTime. I use VLC, though. Oh, yeah. No, I absolutely. I'll take VLC over. But hell, I'd take anything. I'd take, I'd take Windows Movie Maker over QuickTime Player. <laughs> Windows Movie Maker is garbage. Oh, it's off. Sign in to the iTunes Store. Oh my God, my Apple ID. Good thing about the Lego world is how forgiving trees are. Uh -huh. Oh man, you know what? What? I bet it was tied to my Windstream email and I don't have that anymore. I mean, if that's the case, you can probably just be like, yeah, I don't have that email anymore. Just contact Apple support and just go, yeah, here you go. Shit. Apple's dumb about that kind of stuff. Just tell me you don't have anyone like, ah, here's an account. Well, sure. yeah, but I had purchased music on it. I don't think they could just restore it. I mean... Because I know I didn't have a driver's license or anything else. Not. Yeah, not at the time, but like, as long as it's linked. I mean, I'm sure it says like Tyler McVay or whatever your first name is. Yeah, probably. If I had my old iPod, which I don't, because <laughs> it's... Well, me and Michael shot it. <laughs> we used it for target practice in, like, 2010. What was that password? I 
can you never remember any passwords? Bro, we're talking about a program that I haven't used since 2006. How many different passwords have you had in your life? Yeah, enough to where most of my old ones had to be changed because they got hacked. <laughs> If this works, I'm gonna be disappointed myself. What? Oh. <laughs> if that password works? Okay, good, it didn't. <laughs> oh my fucking god, no, I'm so ashamed of myself. <laughs> you gotta share it now. Well, you really wanna know? Yeah. No, not really. It was in Word 321. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh, that's magical. <laughs> you would. Holy crap. Yeah, they're all here. Oh, this is awesome. Yeah, this is a very small, legitimately purchased library. <laughs> Boom! How many are there? Marathon. Biggest, baddest street uh, total, ever done. there are... So, are you in? Less than 300. <laughs> Maybe. All together. What? Terrible. And most of it's bullshit. <laughs> what do you mean? Anything I heard. Well, I got some. I got. <laughs> I got oh, two different versions of peanut butter jelly time. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Why the fuck would you buy that? <laughs> Hell, I don't fucking know. I was in seventh grade, dude. Yeah, you know what? Was popular in seventh grade, line what? Yeah, I, did, I, I don't think I ever actually mustered up the courage to use line wire very much. I had every version of peanut butter the other time with line wire. <laughs> yeah, even the porn version. Exactly. <laughs> that nobody asked for. <laughs> the virus version, you know? I cannot believe that that. I mean, God, obviously, I mean, you don't try to play. Everything. You don't try to play peanut butter jelly time mp3.exe. <laughs> <laughs> dot yeah, the dot mp3.exe. That's how they get you. Oh, I had asshole by Dennis Leary. Although I think that one was. A couple of songs by. I think you got it. Uh, don't you have that U2 uh, album? Everybody got for free. <laughs> nope. I don't see it, actually. A bunch of people got mad that they were forced to have it. I think they removed it, actually, now that you mention it. I do have Psycho Sticks beer, though. <laughs> Apparently, at this point, I had only listened to two songs by The Offspring. Pretty fly for a white guy and hit that. And that was it. Oh my god. Those, Actually, were, his, those were his anthems. No, that he, he's not lying. They really were. Especially hit that. I still love that song. He wanted to think he was pretty fly for a white guy. Yeah. No, that I definitely listened to that song because it was parody. Although, make no mistake, in hindsight, that song was definitely about me. Is that it, I mean, yeah. It was. <laughs> you have arrived at your destination. My team should have updated your schedule for this summer championship. <laughs> have fun out there. You must authorize this computer from the account menu before you can download previous part. Oh boy. Oh Why yeah. Do I get the I, feeling. In this race, I can have all these trucks. And SUVs, or I can use a Charger SRT Hellcat. Is that a cross country? Yeah. <laughs> Why is the Hellcat an option for the cross country? Oh, I've got Chain Hang Low by Jibs. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> as much as I dislike Dodge and other American car manufacturers, I would, I would mind having a Hellcat. You want to know the best part? 
the... I have the full Nickelback album, all the right reasons. Oh, oh my. Listen, I have changed, okay. <laughs> I have matured. I mean, let's be real. Nickelback gets a lot of hate, and they're not terrible. They have some good songs. Yeah. It's, they do. I mean, the Here's only the thing. problem with Nickelback is it's like the Christmas songs. They get overplayed. Yes. It's not that it's bad, it's just that... Some of it is bad. But... When Animals first came out, I kind of liked that song. That was a banger. Yeah. But then, like, Rockstar got played on the radio once, and then we had to hear it for the rest of the fucking time we were in high school. Yeah. <laughs> it was just awful. This Hellcat is undrivable off <laughs> If I recall correctly, I really I like mean, this off side of a bullet as well. If you have all of these trophy trucks, and then a Hellcat SRT... <laughs> You probably shouldn't take the Hellcat SRT. I'm in like fifth gear, <laughs> just spinning tires in the dirt. I also have two versions of I like to move it. Oh, I found a little asphalt. It's on now. Nope, never mind. We're off asphalt. I think the best, the best song that I have on this library is. It's looking like Move Along by All American Rejects. I hate how many times I've listened to that song. Although I will admit, Swing Swing is better, and I didn't realize that until recently. Yeah, Swing Swing's pretty good. Also, apparently bought Take On Me by AHA. Uh -huh. White a, Wedding by Billy Idol. That's a. Uh, take On Me is a good purchase for that age. Yeah, Turn that's left. fair. That one at least lived up still to this day. <laughs> 200 yards. Turn left. White Wedding by Billy Idol's on there. Yakety Sax! Fuck yeah! Apparently, I paid money for that shit. Bad. So called by Breaking Benjamin. Turn left. The people that we love by Bush. That was. That, that's a good song. That was featured on Need for Speed Hot Pursuit, too. Or. Uh, glycerine? Or. How do you pronounce glycerine. that? Glycerine. Tyler would say. Wait, what did he say? Do you remember when you said uh, something about. He said something, something. Bush by glycerin, why would it be for glycerin by Bush? Oh, the what's your favorite, what did I say? What's your favorite 90s rock ballad and why is it glycerin yeah. by Bush? <laughs> yeah. If he couldn't say glycerin for some reason, even though he's been vaping for... Oh yeah, no, he couldn't spell it. He couldn't look it up. That's what it no, was. He... he didn't know how to fucking spell it. No, he couldn't spell it. <laughs> he said glycerin or something. No, I said glycerine because the lead singer of Bush is English, and that's how you pronounce it. Yeah, that's right, that's right. But so, yeah, sure. Tyler tried to spell it, and he he couldn't. Yeah. And I was like, "How the fuck do you not know how to spell? <laughs> You've been vaping since 2014. Yeah. <laughs> like, you've been inhaling this active ingredient, and you don't know how to spell it for <laughs> six years. It's literally in your lungs right now." <laughs> I had uh, shapeshifter by Spell Dweller. Sandstorm, of course. Hey, Rude. Mm, well, apparently, according to mine, it's from the Countdown Singers. I don't know who the hell that is, but yeah, it's supposed to be the Rude. I don't recall downloading a cover. Oh, uh, yeah, this truck is uh, much better off road. Like it was meant to be driven off road. I got higher and with arms wide open by Creed. <laughs> <laughs> also, have only two songs by Disturbed: Ten Thousand Fists and Stricken. Oh, the good ones. No, they're not. Well, Stricken's all right. Yeah, Stricken's really good. Stricken's actually a pretty good song. I'm not gonna lie. I also have Nothing But a G Thing and One Eight Seven by Doctor Dre. 
Oh, I <laughs> threw the fire and the flames from Dragon Fuck Force. that cheating fan. That bullshit fake sped up ass. Whenever I saw what? them, I don't know. Dragon no, they artificially Force. sped up their. They, so Dragon Force artificially sped up their guitar playing. That's why it sounded so like lightning fast. And then gotcha. people started going to their concerts and heard them live. Dude, oh. go ahead and get on YouTube and look up Dragon Force Live. It is bad. I already hate live music. It's, I mean, well, no, some, some bands can, I mean, kick ass live. But they, dude, it's just. Well, I, oh, I don't get, like, the live albums. Like, I would really do not like this. The only live album that I've heard that's good is Aerosmith's A Little South of San and that's just because the audio the audio quality is like on point and they still sound really good. I think that was released in like 95 or something. Do you want one of these trucks, McVay? I got a lot of songs from uh, video games. What the hell is it? I don't know, badass thing. It's a badger truck. Sort of Honda off-road truck. It looks like a heavily modified Baja truck. Honda Trophy. Oh. No, it no handles really that. well though off-road, unlike the hell. <laughs> what it's like driving a Honda Ridgeline Baja race truck. Yeah, that's what it is. Look at TJ1911 driving the Dodge Charger. <laughs> dumbass, like me. <laughs> Somebody within the warthog. I got Welcome to the Jungle and Sweet Child of Mine by Guns N' Roses. And I got What is Love, Baby Don't Hurt Me. What the hell? They, there's a Ranger Raptor? Oh, you want to talk about overplayed songs? Guess what else I have on here? Lips of an Angel by Hinder. Oh, <laughs> That's like photograph. But again, <laughs> the first time, the first. You the first while it came out, it was really, really good. Uh, and I mean, the message behind the lyrics are pretty shitty, but I mean, I don't know if I know this song. I have songs on here that I've totally forgotten about somehow. Look, your favorite tire brand, or is that me? I can't remember. Oh my god, I totally forgot about this song. What is it? Out of Control by Hoobastank. Fucking no. banger, dude. I mean, in my opinion. I'll drop it in general, in case anyone else forgot. <laughs> I have to look it up in iTunes and play it on YouTube, because iTunes is just like, fuck you, this computer's not authorized. I have more ICP songs than Offspring songs. Yeah, I gotta be honest. I've listened to some IP, ICP songs, and some of them aren't bad. Some of them are not bad. Yeah. In 200 yards, I'm gonna have to look up Out of Control on Spotify and, and add that to my library because I, I, dude, I can't believe I forgot that song. Left. Honestly, there's a lot of good songs that I forget and then I hear them at some point and be like, man, I don't forget about this. That's what I did with, um... Fuck. What's that song that I've been burning a hole in on Spotify? At the roundabout, Never Let You Go by, um... Uh, Third Eye Black. And a couple more, I mean... Yeah, just any of those early 2000s, late 90s, rock, punk, pop punk, whatever you want to call it. What I really loved and like toward the end of high school was the In 400 yards, punk uh, rap songs or the shit that was like rap. What was it? Pump goes prunk. Lint biscuit. Oh. No. Oh yeah, no, I, I got yeah. When it is safe to do so. 
the, some of those songs have found their way onto my Spotify, uh, the, including um, Framing Hanley's cover of Lollipop. Yeah, like that one is just <laughs> so damn good. <laughs> it's a fucking banger, yeah. How do I not have the reason? Like, what is wrong with me? Yeah, see, that's the song that I know by. Them, yeah, that's the song most people know. I cannot believe I forgot that out of control. It's crazy. What other gems have I forgotten over the years? Dude, that makes me wonder, like, how many songs have I just totally forgotten? I have one song by Korn. Guess what it is? Uh, coming undone. Freak on a no. leash. No, close. Nope, not that one either. I'll give you a hint. Lil John was in the music video. <laughs> <laughs> Twisted know. Transistor. Ah, I love that one though. That's a good one. I haven't listened I got... to any Corn after that album. I don't think. That's because it was awful. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anybody's seen porn after that album. <laughs> oh, I got Snap Your Fingers by Lil John. We probably understand the tune in this game then, Dustin, because I never really fucked with it that much. Yeah, once What's again, I wish it showed historical. Yeah. Plays. What's the most important one, the gearing? The gearing is really important. Here, let me go in the tune here. Ever since I played. Do you normally mess with just the final drive or all of them? Because the final drive will affect your acceleration and your top speed the most, I think. I got Summer Nights by Lil Rob on here. <laughs> you know that song that the radio spams all summer, every fucking year? Give me a second, I have 30 wheel spins. Well, that's gonna take a while. I got two versions of Lil White's Oxycontin. Oxycontin is Andy's boy. Perky sits in the Lord of Sand. Matches it. Oh my Genius. god. I love the grand. They have the single best sound in the world. It's one of the uh, porn sounds. Oh, it it's the Windows XP shutdown. Oh, uh, yeah, I saw, I've seen that. <laughs> That's some pretty have, ridiculous uh, horn sounds. Some of this stuff is pretty stereotypical. I mean, I got Working for the Weekend by Lover Boy, Freebird. But that was what that one is. Freebird? What the fuck? It's the only Skinner song I have. And to be completely honest, I, their best. I don't. What do you mean it's not even their best? What is their best? Yeah. If you say Sweet Home Alabama, I'm going to drive up there and smack Sweet Home Alabama, I'm going to drive up there and smack <laughs> too. That song is trash. <laughs> like I've heard, at this point, I've heard that song so many times that I fucking hate it. I mean, it's not uh, bad. You like the, it, uh, I, I hate that song so much that it almost makes me hate Werewolves of London. <laughs> Actually, I hate Werewolves of London. What? That's, that's because... I only hate the Kid Rock cover. My that first... bullshit where he merged both of those songs. My first job, the boss there would only play fucking... Uh, oh, that's right. Whatever that classic, classic rock. rock station is. And they only played the fucking ten songs. <laughs> so you got classic rock and all these choices, and you're going to play ten songs over yeah. and over. No, they have no repeat work days now. It's pretty cool. So they don't, they don't repeat any songs for, like, I think the first ten hours or twelve hours of the day. Like, from, like, 6 a.m. to, I guess, 5 p.m. or 6 p.m. I do have a Marilyn Manson song in here. You want to take a stab at which one that one is? <laughs> um, you're catching me, and I'm not thinking about songs. Beautiful <laughs> people. Mm mm. Although, I need to give that one another listen because I remember the title, and I have good memories tied to that title, but I don't remember the actual song. Sweet dreams. No, but that's a good one. And I don't know how that's not on this library. But it's, uh, this is the new shit. <laughs> I gotcha. Babble, babble, bitch, bitch, rebel, rebel, party, party. That's good. I've got the X-Files theme song. 
because that was worthy of purchasing. Uh, Let's Get It On by Marvin Gaye. I had to have bought that as a joke. You Can't Touch This by MC Hammer. Did not buy that as a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Symphony of Destruction by Megadeth. Thriller by Michael Jackson. <laughs> Stupid Motherfucker by Mindless Self-Indulgence. <laughs> I've got that and straight to video, and straight to video, of course, was featured in Burnout. Uh, straight to video. That'd have been censored as fuck. Uh, the one that I downloaded was the KMF DM remix. No, it's like the one in the game. Oh no, it was. It was mostly instrumental. <laughs> <laughs> they they basically cell dwellerified it. I mean, that that song. Was... Cell Dweller, oh, the need for speed is that we found Cell Dweller, because he had a bunch of songs in that one post wanted, I think. Mm -hmm. Yep, and I've got Shapeshifter, which was in Need for Speed Most Wanted. But I'm pretty sure he had a song on either Underground or Underground 2 before then. He's always working on stuff, but he never releases albums. It's kind of frustrating. And he's released a new album recently that features the song Heart On. Uh, I should enunciate Heart On. Of uh, course it's on because in the song he says, I have a heart on for you. That's not recent, that's pretty old. Yeah, Do you have Spotify? Well, you just recently heard that? Cause I probably showed it to you. No, you, you showed it to me, and I, I saw it on Spotify again, and I liked it. But when I say I liked it, I mean like I pressed like on Spotify. <laughs> I already liked it, but I mean... Gearing is definitely the most important one, but one that you probably wouldn't expect is Downforce. Downforce is huge makes such a big difference. And then braking force, eh, it's kind of important. The so I guess that's why all the tuning preset things that you download, people have the force of bumper and shit on there, and they modify the downforce. Yeah. But, the, uh, I mean, don't just throw everything at a car. You want it to be at the top of whatever class you're going to put it in. Like, you don't want to be uh, in a Mazda Miata in S-Class. No, I hate that shit. I don't like racing S-Class anyways. It's too hard to control. Oh, wow, yeah. End of an Empire came out five years ago. I didn't realize it had been that long. Oh, he came out with... Well, no, that's remixed upon a black star. That's not an original album. He released an album called Off World in 2017. I don't think I've heard any songs on it. I can't deny it, I I burned a hole in that Nickelback album. I know I did, because I remember doing it. There was one Nickelback yeah. album where they kind of went rock country. That was, I think, the album right after All the Right Reasons. So that, that was the one that had... Um, country, to be honest. Uh, what was the name of that? I remember someone made a parody of it and they sentence mixed the song to make him say other shit and one of the lines that they made him say was something like, uh, a bullet's flying through the air, is Justin Bieber dead? <laughs> Nirvana song. Make a wild guess what it is. It smells like these 
<laughs> yes. <laughs> have one Aussie song as well, and it's I Don't Want to Stop. And you're not going to believe this, but the Papa Roach song that I have is last year's not. Oh. <laughs> I have one Queen song, and it's Bicycle Race. <laughs> I was wrong. I have three different remixes of I Like to Move It, Move It. And I have two songs by Rob Zombie, and neither of them are Dracula. I forgot how much I don't like playing FH4. Horizon 3 was so much better. What about this one? It's worse. Mm -hmm. Just like, I played uh, Horizon 3 for so long, and then when they made the switch to this, I wanted like all of my tunes and everything, and I didn't want to have to... I think there's a way to port them, but I can't remember. I, <laughs> I purchased Boombastic by Shaggy. <laughs> Only one Smash Mouth song. I should be ashamed of myself. Dude, there are a lot of songs on Astro Labs that did not get played on the radio that were really good. <laughs> Doing this 30 day song challenge, and the song challenge of the day is a song you can't get tired of. That's part of the reason why I've downloaded iTunes a long bit. Like, what's the oldest song that I have that I still listen to? And I'm. Um, you want to know the oldest songs that I listen to that don't get old? They're all by Linkin Park. You know, I was actually thinking that I was I was thinking about doing either hit the floor or um, I don't know what it is about uh, Lincoln no. Park, but I listen to the shit out of it, and it just Dude, does not get old. A Thousand Sons is probably one of my favorite albums, and I know you're gonna disagree with me, <laughs> but I can it's listen to that album that from start to fin I can listen to that album from start to finish without skipping it, even the end. That entire album is a mood. <laughs> that one sounds like a bad one. It's definitely not that dress. Mm -hmm. yeah, I know a lot of people... I mean, min Minutes to Midnight, honestly, probably has some of my most... some of my favorite songs on it. But... Yeah, their first two albums are hard to beat. See, I was late to the punch. I didn't really start listening to Linkin Park until after those albums had already come out. I mean, I had heard, you know, Hit the Floor and Numb and the usual, but... I did, however, recently come across an artist on Spotify called Stabbing Westward. I don't know the rest of their stuff. There's only one song that, from them that I've really listened to, but it's called Save Myself or Save Yourself. It came out in 1994, and I swear to God, it sounds like Linkin Park did. You had Blessy Nation to Spotify. Oh, are they on Spotify? Spotify is everywhere. Mother of God, they are. And no, I haven't. Dude, the entire album in Bug Out City is on here. So good. Whoa, what? Dude, Michael, they have way more than one album. It's probably earlier stuff. I've probably listened to it. But that Bug Out City or whatever is so damn good. Yeah, there's some fucking bangers on there. None of them were work safe though. <laughs> and uh, it's 
a really, I don't know if I explained to you the series of events that, that led me to Bless the Nation. I mean, you were kind of there, but... I think I remember a little bit of it, but you had a physical copy of their disc, didn't you? No, I bought like you it. Had a, you bought it? So the, the whole backstory is... Um, LimeWire is actually to thank for it. Interesting. Yeah, and I hadn't listened to it until I was playing GTA 4 with a custom music added. Because you could, uh, uh, in GTA 4, you could add a folder, and you could play that on the radio. Yeah. Yeah, and didn't you end up adding, like, your entire library or something? I, some I just threw some music in there. Oh, okay. But it, there was a LimeWire song I downloaded, and it was a... I think it was a Kanye West song I was trying to download. <laughs> I don't remember. But whenever I downloaded it, I never deleted it, but I would... I played it and I was like, this isn't the song I'm looking for, and I just never deleted it. So it wasn't tagged hey, properly. Nice paint job. Why not show the artist some love with mm -hmm. the rating? And anyways, so I never listened to the song all the way through because it wasn't what I was looking for. Yeah. And then whenever I was playing that GTA thing, it just happened to come on. Yeah, you were in the back. And I was like, what is, I was like, what is this? This sounds pretty pretty bad, eh? Yeah, you had your computer over, and I'm pretty sure you were playing the audio through your speakers, and both of us had the realization, like, what song is this? Like, this is good. I think it was, was it Wheel Die, or was it Ghosts? It might have been Ghosts. It was Ghosts. Yeah. Because it had uh, that Ladybug or whatever person. Lady Tron. Yeah, Lady, Lady Tron. Bye. I don't know the fucking name. <laughs> Yeah, the well, the songs that I remember listening to. I mean, I still have them on my uh, Turn around when it is safe my, to do my so. local drive. Were "Wheel Die," which was the first album or the first song. Yeah. I think I Beat lost that CD Turn though, left. unfortunately. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. It's, it's probably worth something in certain underground hip hop circles at this point. Pretty close to that. Just a CD. Damn, their Wikipedia article got deleted. That's gonna be a fucking oof from me, dog. Why would it be deleted? I lost notability. I disagree with it too. Don't get me wrong. I'm on their side. Albums. Now we're. Yeah, look at the. Okay, so they had <clears throat> In Bug Out City, which was apparently their last album, came out in 2010. Number 9 came out in 09. Field of Realness. These are all full fledged albums. I mean, like nine, ten songs each. Field of Realness in 06, the Countdown album in 04, Now We're Talking in 03, and Zombie Slave County in 01, The Lost Tapes in 01, Original MBC 2001, and that, song, that album has like 20 songs on it. And they had an EP called Left for Dead that came out in 09, which featured We'll Die and Beat Em Up. Shit, I'm gonna have to give some of this other stuff a listen. Cause I mean, if their last album sounded that good, <laughs> I mean, well, I think I tried to listen to some of them. It wasn't good, but I could be wrong. It might have been low fidelity or something. I just think it's this... hard to top that that album. The saddest thing, though, the, the what's most depressing, Blessed Nation has ten thousand monthly listeners that's that that might be the lowest number i've ever seen on an artist's profile on spotify and that album is so damn good dude the entire it, it's but it, it the recording quality is it's it's professional like major label quality i just don't know how i'm so good so under listening to it. they were Said, man, they were underground. They were independent. They didn't. They had great equipment, but it took off. They were last active on Twitter in 2018. Who? Blessed a Nation, the rap group we're talking about. It was. They were a trio from New York City. I think. 
when I had my senior trip to New York City, this guy was handing out his mixtape on In Times Square, and I still have his CD. And you've still never listened to it? I have. <laughs> it's just garbage. <laughs> I have four songs by System. Oh, wait, uh, hold on, I'm skipping some. Of course, uh, Spider. I have Spider Bait's cover of Black Betty because, again, Underground 2. <laughs> Steppenwolf's Born to be Wild and Magic Carpet Ride. Pretty sure I heard, well, I heard both of those before, but both of those songs were featured in Big Mother Truckers. <laughs> Anyone else play that game? Anybody? Just me? To give you an idea of how bad Big Mother Truckers was, I mean, not only was the title Big Mother Truckers. Oh, the game? The... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you do remember that? Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm so glad I'm not the only one. That game was so bad. Apparently, <laughs> just a second, actually. All right, now yeah. I got all rid of all my PlayStation 2 games earlier this year. Ah, uh, the sequel was called Big Mother Truckers 2 Truck Me Harder. <laughs> but yeah, this guy's name was Square Free. And he's terrible. Let <laughs> me say you found it on YouTube. Yeah, this is the guy that um, I have his mixtape I got on my senior trip while we were at the high square. I have four songs by System of the Down on iTunes Attack, BYOB, Violent Pornography, and Chopsy. It's a decent collection. I probably hadn't listened to it yet. Dude, I, you want to know how many Linkin Park songs I had on my iTunes? Zero. It's 11 songs. Which one is it? Mike McGrath? The top or the bottom one? Uh, either or. The, the bottom one is just all of his songs. In a playlist, so you can enjoy all of them. This is like lo-fi, old-school hip-hop. Mike McGrath. YouTube does not like playing videos while I'm on it. <laughs> Too much bandwidth, mate. Oh yeah, myspace.com. I've heard worse. Speaking of worse, give me just a second. Yeah, so right. I've, I've had enough of that top video. Let's get to his actual music. <laughs> uh, God, what is his rap name? We taking the city. Kind of horror core, all right. It's not bad, but it's not. It doesn't really sound original. Yeah. The melody is boring. It needs some pizzazz. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. I have fever for the flavor and going down on it by hot action cop. <laughs> and of course, 
Amos Moses. Yeah! Here comes Amos! <laughs> spit it out, courtesy of Andrew Yancey, because he was my friend before Michael was. Not anymore, though, because he's a bitch. Shout out to Tears for Fears. Oh, Tenacious D. I had Kickapoo and Karate. That was it. Nice. <laughs> and honestly, I at this current moment cannot I wish Tenacious D's new style was the shit. Oh, it is? I did not care for it. Oh, I'm gonna kick your ass. It's kind of a shame because they. I think it's the first time that it's like completely just. Hell and Kyle. This is easily the most absurd item on this entire. Living in the sunlight, loving in the moonlight by Tiny Tim. There's no way that that's not there without SpongeBob SquarePants influence. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way I didn't hear that in SpongeBob. It's just like, what? Uh, got Ice Ice Baby by Vanilla Ice. And Weird Al Yankovic's entire album straight out of Linwood. Is there a, oh, there is a purchase date. Sweet. All right, when did I buy this? When was my earliest buy? Wow. That, oh, that's awesome. I'm actually kind of proud of myself. The first purchase I made on iTunes, my first legitimate music purchase was Move Along by the All-American Regents. And then White and Nerdy by Weird Al Yankee. <laughs> I was obsessed with that music. Oh, I was, dude. <laughs> and then Confessions Part 3 by Weird Al Yankovic. Fucking hysterical. God, wasn't that like 15 <laughs> minutes long? No, that was his, uh, that was Trapped in the Drive Thru that you're thinking of. It was like 11 minutes long. Uh, yeah, that's <laughs> Confessions Part 3. Forgive me, baby, I'm still trying to figure out why I used your toothpaste to clean off the bathroom grout. Oh, and sometimes in private. Really like to dress up like Shirley Temple and spank myself with a hockey stick. Hockey stick. And then Time and Time Again by Chronic Future. If you guys somehow have not heard Time and Time Again by Chronic Future, if you have not somehow played Burnout, uh, what was that? Burnout Three Takedown. Time and Time Again. I but burn out. Soundcloud that I linked is one of the guys that I went to school with. They made. Ooh, what? They We're make their air. own music, like the beat and everything, and he's the first person in the song that's singing. He had a lot of other songs, but it looks like he removed them all. I think I've heard of Young Prodigy. No, he's a B-Sav or Bash, B-A-C-H-E. Hmm. I know Chess, I've been working my magic. Yeah, see, this dude's got flow. <laughs> Yeah, he's not bad. Flipping this shit, I've been kicking it back in the day. Wasn't picking me diamonds from tipping me. Talk about listening, you wasn't listening. I can't tell with my AKGs because my AKGs are not bass head headphones. But this sounds like a song that Tyler would need to play on his subs. Or Michael, you for that matter. 
Talking too quick when I know them flow. Popping the whip, I'll be flowing the thing. Go ahead, search my name, Google. Can you download that for free. Love, but it's more like a fling. Tell them that's a download. Yeah. That's something I have a download. I'm sure there's a website that is SoundCloud MP3. Well, yeah, but. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to get me caught up with my kid. Hearing the sirens, it sounds like a pig. Hear they be coming and running again. Took on my back because they fuck with the shit. Caught up my verses on phone for the kids. Scream up the fence, but they fans on the shit. Yeah, not bad. I don't know about the second dude. <laughs> yeah, the first guy's definitely better. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, Crazy by Gnarls Barkley is on here. Somehow skip that. That's an important banger. Right. I had two songs by Wesley Willis, and I highly doubt either of y'all know who that is. Yeah. But let's just say he was a schizophrenic musician with nothing but a synthesizer in his voice. I literally only purchased that for train wreck purposes. <laughs> I also have a song by Exhibit called Bitch Ass and a Word That I Can't Say Because I'm Too White. <laughs> And again, I don't, I don't, I don't even remember how that song went. So I gotta look it up. Oh, it's from True Crime, Streets of L.A. Okay, that's why I got downloaded. <laughs> Again, I, yeah, I'm just gonna drop that in there. Y'all can just, you'll figure it out. <laughs> oh man. They get some new cars in there. They're missing the 2020 Corvette. Well, they're about to. I don't know if they released the new FM or not. Motorsport. Yeah, but that, that's a different kind of branch of Forza. Yeah. That's more semi. But yeah, they have it, uh, like, what do you call it, tiered, belt or not tiered, but alternating. It goes from Horizon to Motorsport, and then back to Horizon. You know what, the more I think about it, the more that I think about a song that I can't get enough of, it, it's, I think it's going to be Move Along by All American Rejects, because I could totally still listen to that song today, and it'd be great. I mean, great is debatable. Well, they didn't completely burn that one into the fucking ground on the radio because it, our call right. actually got quickly overtaken by most of like, the hip hop and shit. <laughs> Can't believe neither of y'all watched the interlude that I posted. That is fucking hilarious. Is it? Oh, I'll listen to it now. Honestly, I'm an older game. Oh, and actually, on second thought, not only did I purchase the song White and Nerdy, but I apparently purchased the music video too. Didn't I? Is this the guy from frickin' Boondocks? <laughs> that sounds like him, doesn't it? <laughs> Uncle Ruckus. This was in this was in True Crime Streets of LA. Verbatim. Not not censored. I mean they they didn't give a fuck. Jesus. <laughs> so ridiculous. And these bitches. Oh, wow. Well, they got the Sesto Elemento Lamborghini. 
like one of the most expensive <laughs> ones I've ever made. Oh my god. <laughs> it's a male hoe! That is easily exhibits magnum opus, and it wasn't even him, I don't think. I don't know who the fuck that was, to be honest. I'll be right back. Check out my new car, McGill. What the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> what? What the fuck am I looking at? Man, this thing's slow. You're gonna get plowed. <laughs> What's he in? It's like a Reliant Robin, except smaller. Is it the... Field feet 50 or... Yeah, it's the field. <laughs> that's more like a, uh... What's that fucking BMW car? That is that or something? Oh my gosh. Right, we're going 50, we're going fast. It, it's literally tacking out at 53. The sad thing is, I guarantee you can make this thing just absolutely fly with the mods. In oh, a I'm straight sure. line, yeah. You'll never turn in that thing. Just try and take a left at that speed. He's trying. He's failing. Uh, I don't <laughs> have it modded as fast as it goes at 53, but you can tune vehicles to go way faster than is oh, yeah. possible. I can't. I think it was Forza. I had a cousin who rigged a Mini Cooper, and I don't know how he did it, but he he managed to tune it so that it would do a wheelie the entire drag race. <laughs> All right, let's see what kind of tunes there are for this car. It's going to be ridiculous to make it undrivable. <laughs> That's one thing I don't like about this game. 
Uh, yeah, a tune that makes this car an S1. 12-22-2006. Was that freshman year of high school? I'm really bad at this. How do you even do that? How do you make this car an S1? That's fucking stupid. <laughs> you ready to see some bullshit? Mm-hmm. songs. This game bullshit. What the fuck? Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, sure, it seems legit. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god. World's longest burnout. Why are there so many damn cars in the way? Fuck off. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Water physics. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is like one of those Saudi Arabian highway drifts. <laughs> Except it's really dumb and broken. Have you seen how the Middle Eastern people ride on two wheels? Yeah, I have. It's insane. Yeah, it's ridiculous. I don't, I don't know how they do it so easily, or they make it look so fucking... It makes me wonder how many cars they've just flipped trying. <laughs> Michael, I think you're a little off the road there, bud. You know what's fucked up? Totally forgot about the song Nobody's Listening by I don't even have one. I don't know what's wrong with me either. And lying from you. How did I forget about most of the songs on Meteora? No, this thing is undrivable at these speeds. Yeah, that's fucking ridiculous. Gearing's weird too, like whenever you got a fourth gear. You need to find, like, the straightest straightaway on that map that you can. <laughs> it's gonna be hard to get to it. <laughs> uh, I see, there's a good spot. Go to the Go airport in the desert. Shit. Thinking of FH3. Never mind. There's the highway. Where does the uh, Forza 3 take place? Uh, Australia? 
I haven't played, of course. So this is the first course I've played. I just know I, I like. I wouldn't like the one that's more racing sim. Turn right. The way this one's set up though, I think even after that other force is released, they'll probably still be releasing content for this one. Yeah. I fix the car, McVeigh. Look at it now. <laughs> Dustin, are you seeing this ridiculous shit? No. Not right now. I'll join here in just a second. Yeah, it's the same link I sent you, I think. Yeah. Knock down that whole tree. In one hundred yards, turn left. <laughs> this is so goddamn ridiculous. This is not how this game was meant to be played. Four hundred yards. <laughs> That's exactly how it was meant to be played. Different she looks. One thing they could have done better with is the uh, oh character gosh. customization. <laughs> what are you oh my god I got? This bar. Oh <laughs> I'm trying to get to a straight road. This thing's only drivable if I leave it in six gear. Yeah, pretty much. See, and that's what makes a difference about gearing. If you tune this thing, you can probably get it to where it's drivable all through. I don't know, man. I kind of look at it as the same way I look at the fucking V8 lawnmower in Wreckfest. <laughs> that thing was fucking God. God. That thing was cancer in a can. Well, it's better now because you can reset. Like when you fall off, it's not an insta kill. Which I kind of wish. Yeah, you could, I wish you could pick, because it made some of the game modes better. Yeah. Getting it up past the hundred, which is impressive. Could you imagine a speed trap catching this thing going 155? A little hamburger. That's some top gear shit right there. You wanna see how to correctly go through roundabouts? Oh god. 
Yeah, yeah, that's exactly how you do oh, it. God. Oh yeah, that <laughs> seems real fucking legit. <laughs> It's literally in permanent drift mode. <laughs> like... <Yep. laughs> Dude, you did a reverse entry double drift. The burger has landed. Alright. <laughs> Jesus, God, that thing accelerates stupid fast. Now the gearing's weird. Let me go from like a dead stop. Like as soon as you go past th gear three, like it does something weird. Oh, there's a car there. Let's try that again. Oof. Yeah, launch control. <laughs> Then it goes back to a really long gear. This is probably whatever tune I downloaded. Yeah. Something about that gear is a little too lengthy. I think you're just drag limited at this point. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Tractor, tractor! That burger's out of control. <laughs> it's a slider. God damn. It's a slider, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's a slider, Coral. What was that? <laughs> Sound like the crusty crab thing? Paddy wagon? <laughs> yeah, the transition sound. <laughs> I don't know if I can customize horn here. I don't know where that is. Uh, cars. Why can you not modify other people's tunes? I don't know, but you just reset it, so you aren't going to have that same tune. Was Hybrid, Hybrid Theory was Linkin Park's first album, wasn't it? And yes, I realize I'm a heretic for asking that, but... I don't follow albums, or artists for that matter. I think it was. Yeah, it was. Back to the slow burger. <laughs> you mean the slow boy? You know, like a po boy, but slow. How do I put the tune back on? I gotta find the video for y'all, it's where this, um, I can't remember what game it's on, but in one of the racing games, you could have a horse-drawn buggy, and one guy completed the Nordschleife with the horse-drawn buggy. What? Wait, what? <laughs> I require video evidence of these antics. Yeah, I'm trying.
here it is. Oh my god. Is this one the horse drawn buggy? Or, I don't know if it's just the motor carriage. <laughs> Man, this is fucking riveting right here. Just wait until you get to the point where he has to go uphill. It is hilarious. Uh, yeah, that, there it is. Yeah, he's got a zigzag. Yeah. Oh my god, he has to spin around to get a nurse. <laughs> Go to... Eight minutes. From eight minutes to like minute twelve, he's going uphill. Eight minutes, you said? Yeah, from the eight minute mark to like the twelve minute mark, he's going uphill. Oh my god. Yeah. I mean, just hover over the <laughs> scroll bar. Don't watch all through that. A hundred and... What is that? A hundred and sixty-six minutes? So uh, far? Yeah. This dude's got too much time on his hands. I mean... He... You know, let's... It only took him five hours to complete this lap. Oh, only? <laughs> yeah, four hours, 56 minutes. Jesus. Absurd.
turn around when it is safe to do so. What's your favorite remix off of reanimation, Michael? I don't know, that's a pretty good one too. Mm -hmm. I like Place from Ahead. Probably my favorite. Reanimation is actually really, really good. I, don't, I didn't really give it a chance until later on. Yeah. There's some songs on here on, from Lincoln Park that I I have no idea why I wouldn't have liked them on Spotify and just scroll right past. Them. Like I have I have several songs from Menace to Midnight that I do listen to and enjoy and I like them, but several others that I didn't for some unknown reason. Set you whenever you start flipping. <laughs> I don't know what horn that SpongeBob episode had. At the roundabout, take the first exit. You have arrived at your. Listen to my new horn, okay? Hang on. There we go. Alright. Hit me with it. But why, though? Por qué? Por qué, <laughs> señor? Pourquoi? Shit like this is why God sent down COVID-19. This is why aliens don't talk to us. Oh, God. 
<laughs> that awkward moment when your Mercedes Benz gets plowed by a hamburger. <laughs> This is fucking ridiculous. Stop spinning the rear wheel. <laughs> I can't let off the gas. It's not an option. One day we'll get traction. <laughs> <This day. laughs> Fucking hell. I think I'm gonna have to go with Hit the Floor by Linkin Park as my song I can never get tired of. Oh my gosh! <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> you missed it. I was going pretty good. We've been through this. It's a slider. to clip that pun for me because that was brilliant. This isn't, this isn't Twitch. You can't clip shit. Well, I mean, OBS has it somewhere, probably. If it's, is it saving? I don't know. YouTube saves VODs if you tell it to. Can I take it? 